Chris Mulcahy standing by now. Chris, we've talked all morning long about it, but this is a serious storm that people need to take seriously. Yeah, especially when we have a potential for sleet accumulating ice and then of course a tremendous amount of snow heading up into the mountains. So tomorrow that's just going to be horrible. Now for the airports as we were just mentioning, there is a chance that they could at least clear some of the lanes out if we do get that accumulating snow and they're going to be tending to that. So maybe better on Monday, but realistically travel may not be possible in some locations on Sunday and Monday. So just keep up with us here on WCNC. I think we're going to have a boatload of school closures for Monday, even beyond that point. And also some businesses could be closed as well. We have power outages possible due to ice and wind and some of the heavier snow could also lead to some power outages. We had a story that we could have up to a million power outages reported by Duke Energy and very cold temperatures keeping that snow and ice around. So speaking of those temperatures, that colder air starting to blast in and that's digging around the high pressure system. So we get that cooler air that will be in place uh, later on in the evening. That's why we're seeing rain at first. It's trying to fall now. It's struggling, but eventually it's going to break some of that drier air and then the rain intensity is going to pick up and then all this heavy moisture collides into that colder air and then we have a winter storm ladies and gentlemen. So here's what we're expecting rain starting to roll in, especially later on in the afternoon. We could start to see maybe some snowflakes mixing in with this rain for the foothills. It's indicating around Charlotte. I think this is mainly falling as rain. This is 5 PM, but as we're working our way through the evening, that's where we have the onset of that colder air. 27 degrees in Boone, 29 degrees in Jefferson, and there's still a potential for snow to fall with temperatures above freezing because about a thousand to five thousand feet up, it's below freezing. So that would support some wet snowflakes initially, but then all temperatures will be around freezing and below. So this is where we're expecting the heaviest snow. I would say after midnight, but especially I think three to midnight up in the mountains is where we see that heavier snow. But then here's my cause of concern as early as six, seven, eight o'clock. We have this pink, which is transitioning everything over to freezing rain mixing with sleet. Meanwhile, not too far north of Charlotte, we have some of that heavier snow. So there is a chance around the 485 corridor that we will have a changeover of snow to sleet to freezing rain back and forth mix and repeat over a few hour period through the mid to late morning hours. Here's some improvements. Rain starts to dive in from the south and that is going to allow more of a rain column, but still all snow up into the mountains. That's why we have the heaviest snow totals there and then the back side of this could filter in more wintry precipitation heading into your Monday morning. So we have a all over the place forecast, but likely high temperatures only at 34 degrees tomorrow. So that's why we have really an up in the air forecast, especially for the Charlotte area for the north and northwest. It's going to be snowing most of the day. That's why we have 14 to 20 inches of the mountains, 8 to 14 inches around the foothills, but it's along this line. There's still a chance that line can dive down to the south. That would bring more snow around the Charlotte area, but look at the difference. Northwest Charlotte, about four to six inches. Meanwhile, around Matthews, you could have two to four inches, and a lot of that could be melting initially, but sometimes snow rates are going to be at one to two inches per hour. That's going to overcome the melting rate, so it still will have a chance to accumulate on the roads, even though the road temperatures are above freezing. This is something you don't want to see. Anything up to a quarter inch of ice, that is a nuisance. That is enough to bring down some power lines with some gusty winds. We could have wind gusts up to about 30 miles per hour, but we are seeing representation and this number continues to climb around the Charlotte area where that rain snow line is picking up. We could have up to a quarter to even four tenths of an inch of ice, something that we have to keep a close eye on. And beyond this, we are not really looking at a big warm up. We will see some sunshine on Tuesday. That's going to help melt some of that away, but it's not until next Friday that we're back into the 50s. So be extra careful over the coming days as that winter storm works in the area. We'll have more coming up after the break.